Well hello there guys, Medieval Scroll here with part 7 of my mead campaign for Thrones of Britannia and we're going to pick things up where we left them last time. Now, very quickly before we get, you know, jumping straight on into what happened last time, uh, one of the comments on part 5, and I do apologise, I'm probably going to completely obliterate your name, from Sajik Sturman, um, pointed out that I'm not actually using the estates properly. Um, some of my... Uh, nobles will give me better um, sort of things than what I'm getting for myself. So if we look at the estates quickly, I'm getting 9 influence and 90 extra food from owning these agricultural estates myself. I'm not getting any influence from the religious estates. Now if we look at Alil, he would give me 20 food production. So it is actually worth giving him a handful of these agricultural escape estates just because it will pump the food right up. Don Chad, I mean, they aren't going to help me very much and they're going to take away research rates so there's no way I'm giving anything to them. But this guy will give me faction allegiance which is pretty much all I'm getting at the moment anyway. Uh, but with three, I mean the, the faction allegiance is not great. So if we give him one it will give us essentially one extra faction allegiance than what we're already getting and because we're only giving him one his influence is only going to go up one but he's also going to get loyalty so it's fine these guys they're, they're not going to give me anything because uh, essentially it's only going to help him he would definitely benefit from a noble estate but we're not going to do it not going to do it um, and then if we very quickly just go back to here uh, we can up his loyalty and oh, we don't want that yeah we'll do that did not solve our problem at all I don't news. think uh, we're gonna go in at Vesh and we're gonna throw a load of towers into it just maintain the siege we are probably going to take some attrition there, but it's okay. And then with seven-headed spear, we're going to head down towards Glendalock, hopefully. Stop anyone from coming after us. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. We're also going to try building in some pastures and other things that will give us a lot more extra food. That's more extra food, and... So is that. That's good. Right, and then end the turn. We're hopefully going to be able to wrap up all this little Danish bit down in the south and then find a new um, target to go after. Hopefully someone else in Ireland so we can just wrap up all of the Irish before we head off into Britannia proper. Yeah, we lost some men, that's fine. Noble birth, that's fine. Uh, no Camden, paranoid. Please tell me he's not an army leader. No, he's just governor, it's fine. The men are eager to get to it. Uh, we'll go to Naskieri just in case they come after us. They have sort of amalgamated the... Right, let's save in case of a crash and we'll head on in to besiege uh, Vejforda. Should be more than capable of taking this out pretty quickly. We're going to use the swords as a reserve instead of a front line though so we'll probably send up the spears first and then support them with the swords behind Uh, yeah, we'll go with Fog. How are the... Oh yeah, they don't show you the enemy's deployment, do they? 
Uh, what we'll do then is we will take them off of their towers and move them back. And we'll put these guys here onto the towers. Just because they've got more health. And we'll spread them out like so. Uh, we'll then get all of these guys. They can be just behind. Uh, they can be the first group. We'll support them with the swords. And with the spears on this side as well. And then all the cavalry can just sit back in the centre here. And just wait just on the off chance that the gates come down. Get them up. We'll get them up. And those. And let's fast forward until we hit the walls. They have their archers at the walls. And they do appear to be firing fire arrows. No, normal arrows. What a bunch of idiots. Uh, bring the archers up. Uh, we can't lose formation then. It's not good. And then we're also going to start moving spearmen up this side and swordsmen up on this side. But we'll try and get them to focus fire on our towers first. That is what they're there for after all. The more we can get up, the better it will be for us. Shoot those archers, shoot those archers. Jesus Christ. What an amazing idea. <laughs> what are you doing, AI? <laughs> well, of course it is. They've sent their archers outside. What are they doing? <laughs> Right, that's quite enough of that. Alright, let's get those guys up there. And get these companies up here. I don't know why you've done that, but that was genuinely brilliant. Alright, we'll take skirmish mode off. Alright, spearmen are beginning to take the walls rather nicely. Winning. We haven't lost that many men, we've lost about what they have in fairness, so doing rather well. Alright, let's bring the javelins up a smidge closer, and then we'll put the archers on to hopefully taking out those that group of things. No, oh, no, they've got javelins over there. Jump into those axemen, hopefully we can shred those javelins there. Yep, spearmen are being surrounded by some Eastman fighters, but they're soon to be supported. And they seem to have enemy coming out of the front gate again. Kerns this way, Fianaban that way. Bring them that way over to there. Definitely pushing on this side. Let's come this way towards them. Yeah, and now they're doing exactly what they want. And running away. We've got the gates. Their general is in an even combat. Not sure I believe that, to be honest. Let's form up this way and into a shield wall. Just to absorb some of that fire. And it will bring up the cavalry as well. You lot all in on that general. You groups there. Come out of that. And into this mulch. Right, let's bring all of these guys back. They can shoot at people as they're running away. And end the battle. Decisive victory. Not too many casualties either by the looks of it. Lost 183. No mahoosive amounts of kills, but then again... Nobody got stuck there with their backs against the walls. We got some decent kills. 84, 80, 71, 62, 67. Not too shabby at all. Even the cavalry getting some kills there apparently. Okay, we have taken the town. We're just going to occupy that. 
Uh, has sapped some of our food, but it's okay. We're going to throw in... Oh my god, yes. Uh, we're going to start off with the grain pits, though, and we're going to get rid of that. And repair up the harbour. We're not going to repair up the long fort, because it should do itself. And then we're going to assign a governor. Let's have a look. Axeman. One commander. Fearless. Uh, we'll just go for the youngest to Veshforda. Oh my god, he's actually got loyalty. God apparently is smiling on the Irish today. Uh, low loyalty, Art Gull. I'm, I'm not going to give you anything. You can sort of, if you want to rebel, you can rebel. You don't have any armies or any towns, you're fine. Okay, Nordmen have a raid south of Britannia, down by Kent is fine. Warehouse at Vejforda is demolished, demolish the next one. Good and ready. Right, we need to replenish, but what we need more is to come up this way and stop Hurry whatever that army is planning on doing. If it gets to there, we can come back this way. None. At least this way we should still be gaining supplies and replenishment. Uh, down here, we're going to sail... Not possible. We can't. They can't reach us, so we are going to sail this way towards Abton Moor. Because it's got a port, a trading port, and it's got a Grand Greek uh, meat market, so that will be good for us. Right, as far as research is concerned, we are now heading towards... What are we on? I think we're on Siege Masters. So we'll go for that. Risk of Rebellion in Mumma. Can't really change that unless we own the rest of Mumma. But uh, that's not going to happen for a little while. My strength okay, so they took Cell Canning. Uh, we're we're going to have to get rid of him. Uh, they've taken Sel Canning, I'm taking them. And we're going to attempt to be defensive because we don't want as much casualties as possible. All good, we'll Occupado again. Now ours again, which is good. We just have to prepare it because we're currently minus two. It can hit Naskieri. Command the long ships. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for it. We're gonna have to go back. I was hoping they might go in on Carlin, but apparently not. Uh, skills available. Collar. He is a governor. So, going for Forager wouldn't hurt too much, and that will sort out our food. And then Mafina, he's a governor. Reasonably loyal. Let's just go for a scribe. Taking well, attrition, that that's fine. Just get rebellion, low public order. Can't really affect them too much. Um, minus five food. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I want it. 3% of my tax rate is helpful. Oh, that is fantastic. Yes, we can take Linz back.
uh, one of Wessex's uh, Welsh people uh, vassals will rebel or has rebelled sorry everyone is going insane for the glory of the gales right where can you go from Linz None shall stand let's go to Noba good and ready I've got 17 you've got 17 but yours are depleted even if you throw some extra troops in I think you I've got the advantage. Out. to wait for supplies there. E. That's fine. You're besieging me. Why are you besieging me? Why not go in for the attack? That would be more sensible. Oh, for crying out loud. The men are eager to get to it. Right, well... I mean, it's reasonably even. It's not that even, but it's reasonably even. Um, I haven't got a lot of missile troops, so we're just going to charge front and centre, split into an arrow. See if we can do them that way. Right, uh, dry conditions, we'll just go with whatever we've been given to be fair. Okay, they've got horsemen and scouts on the flanks and a lot of infantry. So what we're going to do is we're going to form up with the axemen as a reserve. Uh, we're going to keep the kerns sort of in the centre somewhere. But we're going to take them off of skirmish because we want them to be able to hit the cavalry. Then we will chuck... Kerns. Kerns. One lot of cairns like so. Support them swordsman. with the swordsmen. Uh, right, that's going to have to become a different group. Gonna have to shuffle those across a number. Then we're gonna have to put Kerns on the flanks. Ready now. Like so. Spearman. Bit like an arrowhead. Kerns. To defend against cavalry. Because they've got cavalry. So that can be group three. Kerns. That can be group four. And then we'll put the household. Riders, somewhere back here. A cavalry charge to the General. rear of an enemy formation can be devastating. Keep and we'll pull to the there, and then the but we'll walk it because I don't want my men getting tired. The enemy can get tired. Get to there, and then we'll pull four up like so. All right, back to play. Spearman. Right, here we are. We're in the combat. Long axes coming in on that side, that's fine. Alright, increase leadership and push forward with the swords. Axemen up to support. Keep the flanks and, and guarded. Alright, focus fire on those javelin men. Up and into the centre. And then pull the general up again, just to keep that leadership bonus up. Alright, they can get round and into the flank. Go around like so. 
pull those guys out and pull them up on the flank like so. In on that bit. We do appear to be winning. Oh Christ, here come their cavalry. Pull round on that flank. Back to support those guys around. Pull over to here. Oh, they are really waiting for us to pull out. Right, get those axemen and those swordsmen in there. Hearth guard, not doing too well against the hearth guard. Go after those archers. Pull one company of current axemen out over here. Pull up on that flank. General is under attack. Get out of the way. How did I not notice my general being killed? General's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Now defend that flank there. Pull them round. Oh, they're pulling out the center. Well, guess it doesn't matter about these household riders anymore. Into those hearth guard. Right, we're defending that flank. We've got a load of Kern spearmen running away. These two lots into the back here. Right, we're going to have to reroute all of those guys into that section there. Oh no, we're, we're dying on the flank here. Charge of those scouts. Spears into those Eastman horsemen. Right. Now pull those back. And back and into defensive formation. And spear wall. Oh no. <laughs> With the cavalry. In against the scouts. They might still be able to properly pull this out. I mean, they've not got the numbers for it, but let's face it, our army wasn't exactly top rate, was it? <laughs> Christ, right, we're going to speed this up a bit because currently it's, it's just a massive slog fest. Um, and we're, we're taking a lot of damage with that group there. Which is our defenders on the flanks. Into that cavalry, into the cavalry. Enemy general is dead as well. We'd just like to point out. Just right, here's a close victory. I'd just like to point out, as soon as their general died, board wiped clean. Our general died, nobody gave a fuck. He obviously wasn't that liked. Right, well we lost 609 men, killed like 833 by the looks of it. High kills with the javelins, surprisingly. Don't normally manage to keep them alive long enough. Um, swordsmen did quite well, axemen, a couple of the companies doing quite well. Spearmen held quite well for the most part. I think with the lesser troops the general dying did rather affect them. Yeah, have to pay attention to him a little bit more next time.
Uh, we will take the replenishment. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Uh, right, so the guy that that managed to get himself killed, um, he's actually the one that we gave all of our farms to. Uh, we'll go for the upkeep reduction, that would be rather tasty. Um, so, I think we kind of... We lost a bit of food there by his death. You've got no loyalty at all. You're having a priest. Well, Ordan, uh, you're a governor, so let's give you a scribe. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tudor Mama can clear up most of down here, which would be nice. So we're going to sit there and get some replenishment quickly. Uh, with this army, just destroy the buggers. My abilities are growing. All right, and then back to Nova. Pick up those feet. And you can have Ooh, champion. Hmm. No, we'll go for a quartermaster. Yes, quartermaster will be good. Then we can move quicker. Low public order. Research. Let's go for melee skill for sword and axe infantry. And then train fighters. So, yeah, we'll go up that way. Go for some wolfhounds and foreign warriors. That ought to be nice. And then we'll move on to the next turn. Need to cross your territory. Um, um, you are at war with Sithraya and your lands are being destroyed. <sighs> yeah, go on then. Right. We've got somebody else has been born. Uh, generals are gaining some rather nice traits. Producer, all right. Oh, that's not actually what I wanted, but okay. Come out of that. Um, where were we? And we've got military access. Oh, a cattle herd has been built. Good. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Uh, down here then. With this army we're going to head towards Ferna. With this army we're going to head towards Nace. Because I reckon we can take them. And then at Dithlin. No, we won't do that. Uh, instead we're going to go for... What's our public order like here? Plus three. Quite a lot of food, though, isn't it? Don't like it when things cost a lot of food. Yeah, we'll level that up. They. If we level that up, we can then get in the food building, which will sort out the food from the Great Hall. One more turn, and then we'll wrap up the part, then, guys. So. We're going to need to pick a new target. By the looks of it, Diflin won't last too much longer. We're going to take their little island. And that should be the end of them. Where should we go next? Should we go north to help Aliak? Or should we pick a new target? Maybe Connock. Get rid of them quite quickly. Uh, Villa Estate has been built. Yes, now our money can start going up. 
Alright, go. Oh, just what a man. Right, we're gonna head in towards Nace and build heavy siege towers. Oh, we can only get three, but they are much better. Cool. Maintain the siege. Uh, you, likewise, we're gonna. No, we've already got the granary. Let's not bother. Granary there, granary there. Ooh. We are eager for glory. Alright, we're gonna head towards Ferna. Hopefully, we can get there before anyone else. Then at least we'll have part of that territory. Uh, right, with all of our monies then. Right, what we are going to do, we are going to upgrade that estate. Because that will give us another noble estate and that will increase the amount of... Oh, I've just clicked the end turn, haven't I? What a yob. <sighs> right, um, so apparently another end turn and then we'll wrap up the part. Alright, I don't want him to be there, so we'll get rid of that. Got offensive tactics, our troops are getting better, we'll do that fight next time. What is more valuable to me? Cluan Moore has Iron Smelter and Verna has a Priest Building. You know what, we'll go for the Priest Building. Skills available, Fredrak. You are actually pretty good, so we'll give you a scribe. And over here then. They, I don't think they can hit Naskieri just yet. I think they'll be able to soon, but not yet. Diflin ideally needs to level up so we can put something in there that they can actually use for bloody loyalty. Decrees can only be held in the summer. Nice. Right, that's where we're going to wrap it up for this part then, guys. Uh, so, I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, check out the videos that should be popping up on your screen are around about now. And don't forget to tune in next time for some more Mead action. Bye for now.